Apple has officially entered the wearable race. The company unveiled its long-awaited fitness tracker today, and it's called the Apple Watch. The device is a square-faced smartwatch that comes in two different sizes, three different models, and dozens of different bands. All models feature what Apple calls the digital crown, a small knob on the side of the device. Think of it as the home button on the iPhones. The digital crown can be rotated to scroll, zoom, and navigate the user interface without obstructing the display. The glass on the watch is made of sapphire crystal, the scratch-proof material that was speculated to be used in the new iPhone 6 model's displays. Sapphire is a relatively common material in high-end watchmaking, and it makes perfect sense for it to be used here. On the back side of the watch is a set of four rings that house the sensors the watch is using to track wearer's activity. The sensors include infrared, visible light, LEDs, and photo sensors which all work together to detect your heart rate. Using that information, Apple says that it can put together a comprehensive look at a person's daily activity. The Apple Watch also has a built-in gyroscope and a taptic engine for input sensing, which allows it to recognize the difference between a tap and a press. Charging the watch is super easy thanks to a MagSafe charger that simply snaps on the back of the device. There was no word, however, on the watch's battery life. On the software side, the voice-activated Siri Assistant will come integrated along with dedicated maps and photo applications. Brand new fitness and workout apps will serve to collect your daily biometric data and encourage a more active lifestyle. There's also WatchKit, designed to help developers create apps tailored to the Apple Watch. The previously announced Apple Pay will also be incorporated into the device. The Apple Watch will work with the iPhone 5, 5C, 5S, 6, and 6 Plus, and will be available early next year starting at $349. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching that video. The first thing you should do if you liked it is click the thumbs up button down below. Then if you haven't already, you should subscribe to our channel over here. It's awesome. You'll love it. And you'll especially love these two videos, which you should watch right now because really, what else do you do?